So, I saw this tweet right here, uh, under Funny Enough Truth's Hot Takes video, and I wanted to talk about and make my own video about uh, this guy, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, and, you know, with this take right here, we'll read it off right now. The hate around these two units are completely made because someone said, eh, I don't really like them. And Doak on Twitter just ran with it as not top 10. Let's just trash on them. <laughs> when they're still very much touching distance, if not top 10 units in their field. Now, you know, God Goku, you know, he's good. He's, I still like God Goku. I think he still works very well. Um, this guy is a funny guy. He's a funny guy. And I think uh, there's always been talk about this guy. And people think he's underrated. People think he's overrated. Um, no, to give this guy respect, on release, considering the Omega Shenron and the Sin Shenron fights, I think this guy, Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku, I think he was, like, best unit in the game. Once you got here, this guy was actually just, uh, crazy, crazy, crazy good. Full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he was unmatched. Like, this guy was absolutely insane. Um, and you know, I, I see, I think people held on to that and were like, yes, Super Saiyan full power Goku, Super Saiyan four Goku, so good, so amazing, busted, you're going to age incredibly well, awesome, or, you know, I'm like, I kind of see it, you know, I, I kind of got it at that point. Um, but I think after that, I feel like he was really, really disrespected by Dogon. I think they, uh, they, I wouldn't say necessarily fumbled him, but there are issues in his kit that, uh, really stand out. Even now after the ninth anniversary, I feel like people think this guy's better post ninth anniversary. And in a sense, I could see the argument there, but you could also say that because of how the ninth anniversary progressed, other characters that were arguably worse than him now have a lot more value than what this guy is going to be providing and i think with how his design is with his base form has always been the issue and even now with because of his base form i don't feel that comfortable running this guy in some of the ninth anniversary content y'all and I, i'm sorry it just that's just that's just how it be um calculations here by Halford here which is really really helpful so we can see what this guy is you know looking like in terms of his defensive stats and again I want to say oob and full power super Saiyan 4 Goku still work really well but this guy right here I think is the biggest issue now again just talking about Dokkan history we know what happened when the fusions of Masu Red Zone came out and the fact is that this guy um like the, the this guy really excels in like fights that are longer um so two turns two two phase two phase two phase one phase these were like the hardest fights in the game besides omega he, super saiyan 4 goku was good in omega right but um this new content most of the hardest fights in the game were one or two phases man like the three four turn fights like you're, you're not getting full power super saiyan 4 goku out by then like you're not you're not um which is an issue Right, right, especially Fusions of Masu, it just, like, this guy, slot one, like, we could take a look at his numbers, dude. Like, if we take a look here at what this guy is doing here. So, this is him in slot one before he sees an attack. So, him in slot one receiving an attack from Fusions of Masu, even with the damage reduction, he's at 322k defense here, right? This is, um... Actually, this is without support. Wait, I'm so confused. What do you mean without support? Without support in slot one. I'm actually confused on how this is working, but okay, let's take a look here. Without support. Uh, apparently, I guess he was at 251k, I guess is, is what it is. What's his linking partner, actually? Let me take a look here. Full tech, full power, special for work. Okay, but I guess we'll go off these numbers. Um, but I mean, we saw against Fusions of Monster, this guy was hitting 500k normals, and I'm sure you guys have seen videos where. Full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, like this guy in his base form, he was taking like over 100k normals 
from this first attack like uh, pretty easily like 150k normals even from this first attack like depending on how powerful your super saiyan 4 goku is like many people's super saiyan 4 goku wasn't even like with dupes in him um so he like he took that right then after the super attack hits for 1.250 million and this guy then after was taking like about let's say 400 to 500k and then it's like oh all my hp is gone because i took like that 150k normal and then i took a 450k super attack and it's like wait a minute that's 600k hp i'm like one shot <laughs> i'm like dead <laughs> right because the aoe's follow and then it's like well you know and uh, i think that makes sense because even after evading and taking an attack right here and even after an ATK super, he's at 700k defense. Even with the 40% reduction, he's like, there's situations where he still takes damage here. And then especially here, start of turn, and this is with support as well, apparently. Um, like, right. Ah, that's, uh, yeah, I don't know. These numbers are kind of weird, but, um, I'm sure how, how would you, the numbers are correct with what they're saying. I just don't know what he means by with, without support and then with slot one. Oh, wait, is it because he does get stats in slot one? I think that's why. Okay, that's why. So, okay, so we still go by these numbers, but you guys get what I mean there. I didn't mean to close that, but whatever. So, that, that's the issue, and I'm sure many of you guys saw, you know, we all agree in the Fusion of Monster meta, this guy wasn't really too great. Then, you know, we take a look here at the current red zones, right, that came out, or the blue zones. We have Supreme Battle Spectacle, we have Movie Bosses, we have the um this one right here the uh, what's it called what's it called the movie memorial battle which actually does have some pretty difficult fights as well we have the new red zone movie bosses version two stage which where is this at well i saw max stage two as well we have the ninth anniversary battle and then we have this there's a lot of difficult content that was introduced here and i, I want to talk about each, each one of these um these like three fights specifically are the hardest fights I think this guy is actually going to be useful in the Trunks fight, and I think he will be useful in the uh, Gohan fight. The reason why is because there are three phases, right? Three phase fights, I think, is going to be where this guy is at his best, because early on, the fights aren't going to be hitting hard enough to where this guy is going to necessarily be struggling. But again, even like if we take a look at Trunks, right? Trunks in comparison, 490k stats and then 1.25. He's hitting as hard as Fusion Zamasu is turn one. So the struggles that this guy had against Fusion Zamasu are still existent in this fight specifically. But the thing about this guy is that he only attacked six times a turn. While Fusion Zamasu attacked like what, 10 times a turn? And there's no AOEs. So you're going to likely be in a better spot. And then we do also have AGL Pan. AGL Pan was actually pretty good for this guy's team. I don't want to really like lean on ejo pan too much though because we're talking about super saiyan 4 goku himself but she does give the 30 percent attack and defense for two turns that adds about like 150k plus to like even this guy's demon stat but even then this is turn one so uh you, the same issues you can see there you could see in the trunks and the biggest reason why is um this guy's it's nice right he gets the extra defense after evading or receiving an attack right that's cool that's cool and all um issue is that he has to receive attacks anyways to get a standby and then you really need a standby to get this guy and then into this guy that's what you want to aim for um issue is that you can't build this guy with dodge then and the thing is if he gets hit with a super attack before he even gets any of his defense stacks he takes a lot of damage though man quite a lot of damage and these phase one fights they're like this trunks hits as hard as fusion zamas right that's an issue uh, if you take a look at the beast gohan fight actually i think he's relatively weak 840k 300k that the that super attack will have for about one mil but this guy's also typed as a manage here which is an issue the normals aren't really going to be doing a lot of damage to him and super saiyan 4 goku can debuff in here though with his 12 key super as well which is nice right and then by the time you get here super saiyan 4 goku you know he'll get most some of his stacks up with the defense and everything like that type disadvantage here but then you have you can even get oop here but you have oop that you can get here you got full power super saiyan 4 goku who has guard ability and it's like okay he could work decently here even but again he has still type disadvantage luckily he does have the guarantee crits though that'll help him here in terms of the damage department um and he has to heal with him i do like super saiyan 4 goku in this fight overall he just add a little bit of a disadvantage, right? But it's like, you, you can kind of see where it's like, oh, you know, I'm kind of in trouble. And, you know, another thing in the Trunks fight as well, this guy locks you. So, like, this guy, what if what if Super Saiyan 4 Goku gets locked in slot 2? What are you going to do? 
And then he gets locked in slot two, loses 20% reduction and 70% defense. And then you're at like what 600k defense with 20% reduction, dude, with Super Saiyan 4 in slot two. What do you, like, what do you want him to do? What is he gonna do? That's that's another thing that I think was really dumb is locking like his passive to being in slot one specifically and his reduction. Like, he should have just been 40% reduction, honestly. It should have been 40% reduction, then kept this to get 60% reduction in Salmon. That's what he should have been. And then he would have aged very well, even right now. But um, 40% reduction with his like 500k defense before he attacks, that's that's not good enough. That's 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 not good enough, dude. I don't know what to tell y'all. And I, 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 I don't know. I don't know why they... Uh, I think that he was disrespected a little with with... They, they weren't thinking ahead. They were thinking of this guy in Omega, I think. And they weren't thinking of this guy in Fusion Zamasu. They weren't thinking of this guy versus the 9th anniversary content. Which I feel like is different compared to other units. I feel like Boma, Orange Piccolo, GT Duo. Uh, like, I feel like a lot of those characters that were designed were also, like, designed in a way that they would age very well. And this guy, I feel like he kind of wasn't. Ah, it's weird. It's really weird. Um, I actually don't like this guy in Gogeta. <laughs> Funny enough, uh, that's not Gogeta, that's Gohan. The reason why I don't like this guy in Gogeta is because of the fact that, okay, you want to save the standby skill because the thing is about this guy, he guards for the one turn. He guards for one turn, which is cool, right? You know, one, one turn guard. I, I like that, I like that. I like the one turn guard, right? Very helpful. One turn guard with the 50% damage reduction, that's going to be pretty awesome. And I think that's going to be super helpful in a lot of the, um, a lot of the, like, if, if you get this guy with his guard with the 50% reduction against Gogeta, I think at the end he can live with Super Taco. I think it's very, very like, possible. If you take a look here, as long as he receives that first attack here, and, you know, he does, he won't have the Super Attack effect stack, unfortunately, but, like, let's say this guy has 40% support, and, you know, I don't know. Oh, he won't have the stack. Let, let's say, let's take a look here. He, he, he'll be at man that defense is this is full power i thought it would be higher than that so 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 one mil okay yeah so he's at eight he's at 672k at full power before he attacks his guard 50 percent reduction so if Gogeta super hits for 3.6 mil, then that is going to get halved because of 50% reduction. And that's going to go to what? That's still 1.8 mil. And then he has the guard. Does he live with this? Maybe in this situation where he has one mil defense with the guard, does he live? Pulse super, pulse, pulse super. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, God, are you serious? I was, I was thinking, I'm like, this guy would be fine once he's full power with guard and reduction. But oh my, God. I think, I think, I think he sh he should be fine. He should be fine. Guard and reduction, is crazy. Um, he should be fine. Is what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm not doing the math right in my head. When I'm, when he's in full power with the guard and turn one for sure. Let me let me not downplay this guy like that, right? He also does a great lower attack in the 12 key, so if you get additional supers, that could be pretty useful. But the issue is that, you know, he needs that guard. That's, that's, that's with the guard. Without the guard, he's not living Gogeta. Like, this is... <laughs> without the guard, this guy is not living Gogeta. Unless you have, like, debuffs for, like, Omega on rotation. Then, you know, I can see that. But, like... Okay, so that means that you have to get Oop here. And then, with Oop there, you have to get the, this guy. Or, yeah, you, you might even have to save Oop for this phase! And then it's like, okay, what are you going to do when normal Super Saiyan 4 Goku gets hit with a super for 1.5 mil in this phase? And it's going to be harder than 1.5 mil, probably 1.7 mil. But what are you going to do when he gets hit with this phase? And yeah, he has to be ran slot 1. Over 2 mil damage right here. Like, what is what is base Super Saiyan 4 going to do? Like, he, he, like you're going to be forced to go into Oob, and then you get full power out early. Because you can't stay in Oob. You, you can't you can't stick around in Oob. And then, guess what? You, you, you die at the end here. Like, you, you're just dead. You're, you're done. You're done. It's over. 
Like, you're done. <laughs> like, you with these. <laughs> um, he hits you with the super. You're done. I, I think. Yeah, but but obviously when it's just like the normals without the super attack raise, it'll be fine. But like this guy gets hit with a super. What do you like? What what are you actually generally doing? Like this tech phase, I think he'll be safe in at, at the very least because he's type advantage, right? And again, with the guard, he'll be good. Like with the guard, he, he, he'll be fine. I think. I hope. But someone do the math in the comments. Let me know. Um. So that's a thing, right? Ultimate red zone. I think he'll be a little safer here, but it's the same thing with Gogeta where you don't want to transform too early. But then if you transfer him because of that you're stuck with base super saiyan 4 who's dramatically worse right and i think that's that at the end of the day that's the issue with this guy base super saiyan 4 goku was not enough and it's very sad it, it, it is sad um <laughs> i don't know that, that, that's it that's it right i mean i think in this specific situation he'll be fine because even if he gets locked in slot 2 3 he's type advantage so I think um issue will be this fight. You could blitz physical Janemba. Like if you have you can run like blue cow can go quin evolution blue Vegeta on the turn. You can have even beast Gohan here, right? You could blitz this Janemba before he even gets to the physical phase. And then or you could even use the you could use Oob here and you get full power super super four go here, then by the time you like run out of the guard, you're you're probably gonna win already anyways, right? Um and that's that's the plan you would have to do there right so i mean it could work it could work for sure i think he, he'll be he'll be okay in the movie boss's red zone i think more favorable i think he'll be a fine option there um these options dude they're just there's so many fights i'm just gonna have to screw through this real quick but it was like here again you need the guard right 100 here you need the card 100 percent um and then like the he, she should be okay here he should be okay in these fights again this fight i mean the deep another thing enemies who lower defense just terrible for this guy because he doesn't stack defense he's mostly pure defense the only stacks of defense he gets is this and then if you have pan so like the these defense like debuffs are pure 40 percent minus so like if we have this guy here without support or anything again if he's at this one mil defense that 40 percent debuff that broly will do that'll be pure 40 percent. that's taking away 400k defense of this that, that's that's what that's doing that's taking away 400k defense dude um so i don't know <laughs> i'm i'm dragging on for too long in this video i'm already 18 minutes in this video already like freaking re redid itself but i just want to take a look at a few more again just these hits these supers hit too hard man like what are you gonna do? It's, it's <laughs> it just his numbers are not enough. Let's not even talk about this guy. Like Super Saiyan Four Goku sucks here. Like you're not you're not adding him here. Right? Let's not even talk about him. Anniversary battle. This fight's not even that that bad. Like you could you could get away with him here. Can you? <laughs> probably, probably, probably. Um, Beerus. I don't really like him there. Golden Frieza. You could use him there. Um. Uh, I mean, he's not, he's not better than any of these characters. He's not, I'm, I'm sorry. Like someone was like, what does SGR UI Goku do than being a worse SGR UI Goku? It's like, uh, is that bad? SGR UI Goku, that, that means he's still great. If he's just like a slightly worse version, like SGR UI is amazing. Like you cannot argue any of these characters, like any of these guys, just, um, like, uh, like, maybe in longer fights this guy i could see why um but even then like the leader skills like six times is better almost i guess full power let's let's not disrespect full power full power is pretty good but like why would you run this guy's leader over broly as well like you know um i mean you could run this guy as a leader then full power broly as your friend and then you know, but it's like, you know, you're going to feel it's actively going to drag the team down. Because, like, you instead of running this guy a slot one, you could run Blue Evolution a slot one. You could run Beast Gohan a slot one. You could run even Broly. Like, when he transformed, you could run a slot one. Um, and that comes to the situation where, you know, 
they're they're just better slot one characters but then you're forced to put this guy in slot one and then he's gonna do just a worse job and it's like usually that's not that big of an issue because it's like if characters do a role that's better it's like okay well worst case scenario you could still run that character in like slot two or three right you know but this guy has to be someone these like he has to be someone right and um that's 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 another issue right where it's like it's kind of like vegeta trunks except you know even like when it came to vegeta trunks it's like they still guarded in like the other slots but uh i don't know yeah i, I maybe these guys i mean ella rubia and it's like you could say like they had the giant form and you know they have the orb changing and they have like being able to be ran in slot two or three in terms of being an age like and how well you age is going to work out better as well right and with the giant form that's going to be super massive still like the thing about the giant form with the ribrian trio is the fact that um like they're still aoe with gogeta this, these bosses super attacks debuff you now and they hit super hard so having this giant form is still very useful the, like even even though there's not like we're not really in an aoe meta per se it's still very useful to have this giant tumor ability especially because you know you could just use it from turn six as well and from turn six onward you're, you're good you could even use a turn one if you have power wishes which is still a pretty decent category um this unit like with their reduction they're able to live any normal super attacks could definitely kill them but it's like super super attacks could also kill super safe for goku but again this character has the giant form like and they heal you a lot with the tech orb changing and you know universe survival saga slash tournament participants is in a much better situation especially now so i'll just i, I want to see the quotes here beastless is not better than super saiyan 4 um i mean like i i would feel more comfortable running beast gohan with uh ultimate gohan right here than running Super Saiyan 4 with like a, a Super Saiyan 4 partner or like Super Saiyan 4 with Broland rotation. Like, I, uh, I, I gets to a point where it's like, okay, that's because this guy, Gohan's getting babied, but like this Gohan has nullification. Like I, what I really like now is these active skill nullifications where you could just snipe the super attack instantly. I really like that this ultimate Gohan, he has that ability. And you know, it does help that he has a new partner. Like, partners do matter when it comes to, like, ranking characters. I'm not going to be like, oh, Beast Gohan has the target ability uh, specifically, and you're always going to use this Gohan with him. But it's like, this guy is also the best character in the game. So it's like, I'm not going to completely discard that. Like, it's going to, it's, it's a factor, but it's not going to be something where I'm, like, all the time. Like, I'm kind of like, you know, people are saying, oh, Orange Piccolo could protect, like, Sword of Hope Trunks. Um, and it's like, you know, Sword of Hope Trunks is not going to always be with Orange Piccolo. I feel like it's kind of different because like these guys are like best friends almost like um and like this guy makes this guy so much more powerful too so i i could see the argument a little more and uh i feel like this guy's gonna probably hit harder as well right than super saiyan 4 goku does until he's full power maybe but like this guy at least has the additional super effective as well this guy has a one single crit attack but like he also doesn't have any additional supers right so it's like because he doesn't have built-in additionals, you can't really use this debuff even as well, unless you missed an 18 key, but which is like almost impossible once you're full power. This guy is a spirit bomb strat in like some of these longer events, and you know I think these guys are just gonna be better. So I don't know. Um, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough for Super Saiyan 4, and it is, I just feel like talking about it just because um, I still see a discussion about this guy a lot, and I think I want to. I wanted to get my own two cents in here. There are situations where you could look good though like definitely he's still he's still like good like i, I want to close the video by saying i'm not saying he's trash he's still a good character but i'm just like you know he deserves better this guy looks amazing he's cool and you know he's still fun if, if you're like oh i have fun using him sure you know you can have fun using the character i just i'm gonna say that i just don't think he's as good as he should have been in terms of like you know the um final characters so I'm gonna get here. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you know, like, even if you get GT buffs, like, it has to be like a character that's like 
giving this guy like 60% support or like gives this guy like like if this guy gets a character that gives damage reduction support to GT heroes like imagine a character with like 15% damage reduction support to GT heroes then we can start talking about this guy again but that's what he needs base form needs extra reduction someone sneezed over there whatever i'm done uh, you guys probably heard that sneeze let's say another video i don't care i'll see you guys next time let me know what you guys think peace out